When we brought him into the house, he went right into the crate and we couldn't get him out of the- I don't think he knows he's allowed to come out. Come on, come here. You can come out. Come here. <laughs> Moose was in a shelter in Kentucky that he was found on the street. Our daughter works for Muddy Paws, a rescue in New York City. She's been begging me to foster for years. And she said, oh, look at this one, Moose. When we first picked up Moose, he seemed very comfortable with us. We made it all the way home. Come here. And we couldn't get him out of the crate for about 10 or 15 minutes. Puppies and, and dogs need to decompress when they first come into your home. So we didn't try to coax him out and waited for him to want to come out and, and meet us better. We comforted him. I just, I just wanted him to be comfortable in our home. The first couple of days of having Moose, he wasn't comfortable going over threshold. He wasn't comfortable going out of the house or into the house or into the crate or out of the crate. wanted to be with people all the time. He didn't want to be left alone. He didn't sleep through the night the first couple of nights. We introduced Moose to our dog, Tommy. Tommy is taught him dares. Uh, he stood at the bottom. He put one foot up and take one foot down. He's pushing him. And then our dog ran up the stairs in front of him, stood at the top and said, come on, it's like that. Um, and then the same thing happened the first time he needed to go down. Um, but then after he did it once, he was fine. There you go. Yes. So it was just, you know, I've never done this. I'm not really sure, like, what this is. And anything that, you know, that was a first, after he did it once, he was fine. Last night was the best night yet. He went out and then went to bed a little after 10 and slept until 6.15 this morning. My husband was bonding with, with Moose. And my husband was saying, maybe we shouldn't let this dog go. Years ago, uh, my husband and I decided that uh, we were gonna plan for our retirement and, and make good decisions with our money. And the way we've done it, we've been able to adopt dogs. You know, financially, we're able to do that because of the good choices that we made. But was this the right thing, you know, at this time in our lives? I'm 64 years old. My husband is 65 years old. Should we be getting a puppy? Today is a day where we're thinking of uh, keeping him. So, and we have to make a decision by tomorrow afternoon. Um, we're really, really waffling. Tuesday was the day that we had to decide if we wanted to keep him or bring him back for adoption. Just in case we decided to keep him, I had already filled out the application. And there was an email, it was an invitation to bring Moose into the city to allow early adoptions of these puppies. I told my husband, he freaked out. He's like, but we want to keep this puppy. And I was like, we do want to keep this puppy. <laughs> At that point, we knew, like, we had made the decision in the back of our minds, we just hadn't hadn't realized it yet. <laughs> we told him that he was, he was ours now. Uh, we changed his name to Mac. And we're so happy he's part of our family.